Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I'm going to do a love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for the second half of April. Please remember it is a general reading and its timing is flexible. This will be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You can check out um, your other signs in my video playlist. There may be messages for you. Feel free to check those out. If you enjoy my channel, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And um, also, if you're new to my channel, the first portion of the reading is the tarot. The second portion, I do um, the oracle cards. Um, and there's three stacks here, and you'll pick um, one of the stacks that you're drawn to, and those will be the messages for you. So I'm actually tonight, the first night I'm introducing a couple of my bracelets from my Anything Angel Wings line. I don't know if you can see my logo here, but it's called Anything Angel Wings. Um, so I'll share those with you. You're the second video I did this for. So the first um, stack is the feminine angel, or I'm sorry, no, the masculine angel. All right. Whatever draws you into whatever stack. So the first um, bracelet is the amethyst bracelet, and all of my bracelets, or most of them, will have the signature um, angel wing and heart. Okay, so when it's on your wrist, it will, sorry, I got caught here, it will dangle. Okay, so really nice charm there. Um, these are genuine stone bracelets. They bring healing properties. So, um, and I also energy charge these with Reiki healing. I'm a Reiki practitioner. So the healing energy helps with physical ailments, can also help with emotional um, issues, depression, um, energy healing, and chakra balancing. You can hold these when you do meditation. Um, can also help you with sleep itch issues such as insomnia or nightmares, okay? So if you're interested, my information's in the description box. You can email me, okay? So that's uh, the first stack. The second stack is the baby angel, all right? And on this stack, I have the Howlite bracelet, okay? Same thing, signature uh, angel wing and um, heart here and this one also has a lava bead so you can put your favorite essential oil on it um, to have your favorite scent or um, just the oil on your skin for healing um, but the howlite is good um, to help reduce anxiety tension stress um, helps to give you clarity and also helps with patience um, and also helps to eliminate pain. So again, these are genuine stone, um, and all stones have healing properties, okay? I also, uh, like I said, charge these with Reiki energy as well. So again, my information's in the description box if you're interested. And then finally, the third stack is the Feminine Angel. Okay, so let's get started. All right, Scorpio. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Too many there. Please tell us what does Scorpio need to know for the second half of April. Please tell Scorpio what do they need to know. What do they need to know when it comes to love? Let's see how many we got there. Huh? We'll take it. Okay. Okay. So I feel here, Scorpio, there's someone in your life. This could be you or this person. Remember, sorry, I paused there. I heard a funny noise here. All right. So remember um, that roles can be reversed. Um, so I feel this person in your life here with the Knight of Pentacles, they may not be offering a whole lot right now. Okay. This may be Earth Energy. This can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Uh, next here with the King of Cups, okay, they actually may, um, I feel here that either you or this person, I feel like there's some 
some sadness here or maybe even some depression here. So I feel like that's maybe why there isn't a lot of progress right now with this situation, okay? Because I feel you or this person is really focused on, um, you know, whatever this sadness um, is about, okay? Or they're, um, I feel someone here is dealing with a lot of emotions, okay? And so they're not really paying attention um, to anything else right at the moment here, okay? So this could be you, Scorpio. So I feel here um, this person or you may not be offering a lot because I feel um, there's some type of emotional situation going on. But I feel here with the last card that came out with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel here that that's going to change, okay? So we're starting off slow here with the Knight of Pentacles, and then we're ending here with the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel here that's change coming. Um, I feel like the offer's coming in here, okay? I feel a new beginning. Aces are about new beginnings, okay? So that's what I'm seeing so far. I'm going to move on um, to the second deck and see what cards we pull. So the um, the Howlite bracelet I described to can also help. Um, like I said, it helps with clarity. I also feel that also deflects um, negative energy when when you're wearing it. Um, I don't have my other bracelet on, but I usually always, I have another crystal bracelet that I'll be selling soon. Um, I always wear it. I just feel that it's my angel of protection. I feel um, it's my angels with me all the time. That's why I made my signature bracelets with the little angel wing. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit guides. Here we go. We've got too big of a stack here. Let's get three more cards, please. What can you tell Scorpio regarding love? Let's get three more cards. Okay, two more. And let's get one more, please. One more. There we go. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of progress because um, here with the High Priestess, a couple things, Scorpio, I know you're very intuitive, so I feel here um, that there hasn't been a lot of progress because I feel here that you know um, there's something unknown here, okay? I feel like this person may be hiding something, okay? Um, I feel here that this person, um, here with the Three of Pentacles may have disappointed you, and that's where I was picking up here with the King of Cups. Definitely water energy here is I'm feeling that, um, definitely this person in your life, uh, has disappointed you in some way. And I feel like that's where this sadness, or I said even depression, is coming from. And like I said, I feel like you or this person is really focused on the emotions right now, okay? Not really looking at anything else. And then here we have the Seven of Swords, okay? So definitely, um, like I said, I feel somebody's hiding something here and things aren't really moving, um, just feeling feeling a lot of emotion going on between you and this person. So I feel here, okay, so I said this ended with the Ace of Pentacles with change, but we have the Four of Pentacles here. So I feel here you're feeling stuck, okay? You're feeling stuck not being able to move forward here with this new beginning, okay? Let's keep going, see what cards come out. All right, yeah, feeling a lot of disappointment here. Somebody disappointed you. You know, roles can be reversed. Remember that. Uh, thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Okay. Ugh. Let's get two more cards, please. Two more cards. 
Let's get two more cards, please. Please tell us what Scorpio needs to know regarding love. Two more cards, please. What does Scorpio need to know? And it actually just came out. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I talked about your intuition. I feel that there may be some unknowns here. There may be secrets. This person may be hiding something from you. Um, and then the double came out, okay? So definitely feel here this situation may not, for some of you, may not be a good situation, maybe a toxic situation. Um, this person you're involved with may have addictions uh, or this problem, this person may have um, um, some ego they need to uh, deal with. Uh, but this could also be a Capricorn in your life as well. Second card came out, High Priestess again. So, like I said, you're feeling disappointment. Um, your intuition, I feel, is telling you that definitely um, this person is hiding something. Something's not right here because we have the Devil card right next door. Um, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So, Scorpio, I feel here that, like I said, this person has maybe not had the best intentions, okay? And I feel like um, this has really gotten you down, okay? But I feel here with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like, you know, this is a cycle that needed to pass and I feel a new door is going to open. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be walking away from this situation because I feel here um, it's not feeling really good. Okay, this may not be for all of you, but I feel here um, the, do the cycle is closing, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. However, when one door closes, another door opens, okay? So I feel here this is going to bring newness into your life, okay? I feel like there's going to be a shift. You're going to feel a shift, even though you may feel sad at the moment, or this person may be sad. I feel there is some type of shift coming um, that's going to bring you a ray of sunlight, okay? Um, that's going to make, you know, um, you know, it's it's going to bring about change, and it's going to be good change, all right? Next card that came out is the world card, okay? So this is what I'm talking about, this change. I feel like you're really needing this change. I feel when it happens, I feel when you can let go and that door closes, Okay, where you can get past the sadness that I talked about. Okay, for some of you may even be feeling depressed. I feel like you're going to feel on top of the world. As soon as you can let go and heal the past, okay, or whatever situation happened, I feel like you're going to feel on top of the world here. Okay, for others, this may be about you traveling. Okay, some of you may be wanting to get away, um, you know, from this situation, you know, getting away from, you know, you know, if this person's been lying to you or, or there's been secrets, um, and you're just done, I feel like some of you may be traveling, okay, to just, um, take a little vacation, okay, having some you time is what I'm seeing. Okay, so definitely seeing here, I feel like a cycle is closing out for most of you here, Scorpio, okay, is what I'm seeing. All right, so I'm going to move on now to the first stack, um, which was the Masculine Angel. This was the Amethyst Bracelet. So again, this can help with chakra balancing. Okay, for those of you who are closing out this cycle, is a really good time to do some chakra balancing. Okay, so the first stack, uh, what do we got here? First two cards. Okay, so the Romance Angels. So very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So yes, I feel here, like I said, I feel like a lot of you are going to be using your intuition. I feel like a lot of you are going to let go of this situation, okay? Um, but this is your angel saying that decide, you need to decide what you want, okay? Whether you want to move forward or you want to stay 
You want to stay stuck in this situation because if you're one of those who are feeling really stuck in this situation, your angels are saying, you need to unstuck yourself. I know that's not a word, unstuck, unstick. You need to unstick yourself, okay? So I feel how your angels are saying, um, it's up to you. You have the power, okay? You can stay stuck or you can move forward. Um, the next card that came out is extend your light heart your light-hearted energy to others flirt okay so definitely feel here like i said i feel once this cycle closes comes to an end i feel like you're going to feel so much lighter you're going to let go of all of that stress and anxiety the sadness um and i feel you're going to have that light-hearted energy again which is going to bring in some newness which is going to bring in new love where you're going to be in that, you know, that flirt mode again. You're going to feel good. Okay. The next two cards that came out. Um, first one is big happy changes. I said here with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel change is coming here. And your angels want you to know that they're good changes. They're happy changes. You're going to feel happy again. I said I felt this sadness here. So if you're feeling sadness in the past, I feel like that's changing, okay? There's big happy changes coming for you, and it's all going to happen in perfect timing here, okay? So if you're looking for love, you know, you want love in your life, this is your angel saying it's all, it's all going to happen in perfect timing. You just need to have some patience, okay? All right, the next card is from the Lover's Oracle. It says... Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims. It simply allows and gives. So, yeah. So, some of you may um, still be in the stuck situation, okay? There may be separation between you and this person. Some of you may not decide to close out the cycle and walk away or um, move forward, okay? So for those of you who, um, you know, aren't giving up on this situation and that's perfectly okay because it's always your decision, this is your angel saying that you may need to give some space, okay, for you and this person. All right, the next card that came out is um, from Archangel Michael. And the message that he has for you is called Admit the Truth to yourself and act accordingly okay so this message says you've drawn this card because there's an important feeling that you're you've been trying to ignore yet try as you might to push it aside this feeling urges you to be honest with yourself archangel michael says that facing this truth will be healing and it will give you the direction and guidance you seek You've tried to disregard your inner urging because you're worried about making life changes. Archangel Michael reassures you that he's guiding you and making sure that your needs are met and your relationships stay healthy. So possible means for this card, heal or leave an unhealthy situation. Exactly what I see in this reading. Don't compromise. Face your fears. Hold loving thoughts about yourself in this situation. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is I appreciate your support and helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. All right. So beautiful message there um, from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And I'm going to move on now to the baby angel and the Howlite bracelet. And again, these are Reiki charged. I'm a Reiki uh, healer practitioner. And remember, these help with reducing anxiety and stress and give you clarity. Okay, so for some of you having um, some emotional issues, the Amethyst bracelet is also actually good for the emotional as well. Okay, so let's move on to your cards. First two cards, Ugh. someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship deception. So yes, I felt definitely here, there was some big disappointment, okay? This person um, disappointed you in some way, okay? I feel here that they weren't completely honest here with the deception card. 
Now, what level of deception that is for you to decide? Um, it may be something smaller on the scale. It may be something larger on the scale. You just have to use your discernment of where that falls for you and what you're willing to accept. The next card that came out is financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so for some of you, um, there may be situations where you're going through divorce um, or you may be focusing on your finances right now. Okay, because some of you may be in separation. You may be focusing on your career, career as well. The next two cards that came out are from the Angel Answer deck. The first card um, that came out is Let Go. Okay, so I feel for some of you, I feel here some of you are going to have to let go of this situation. And I mean physically let go, because like I said, I feel like for a lot of you, this cycle is closing out. Okay, for others, I feel here this is about letting go of control. Okay, letting things happen um, divinely. Okay letting um, things play out how they're supposed to play out here okay so this may be about letting go of control or this may be actually letting go um, of this relationship with this person okay next card that came out is helpful people i i said i felt here that there's some that definitely some sadness some um, emotions um someone's having a hard time dealing with emotions even depression here, okay? I feel here this card um, is a message that there are going to be people around that help you, okay? These may, they may be people you know, um, but I always feel my angels want me to tell you that this is also about divine intervention. This is about um, people that you don't know randomly um, out of the blue do some act of kindness, okay? And you know that that was sent from above, okay? You know that that the act that this person did was so out of the blue that it took you by surprise. And that's when you know that it was sent by your angels, okay? All right, the next card that came out is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Okay, so I feel here this is a message about um, not to be so critical of, um, you know, someone um, and to put more positive um, energy in into the universe because I feel here this is the situation of what you put in is what you're going to get back and it talks about the mirror when you look in the mirror you see yourself so if you're projecting um, the energy to um, someone in your life and it's negative energy that's what you're going to get back from that person but if it's positive you're going to get positive back okay all right, now the next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. This card is called Make a Commitment. All right, you drew this card because you're asking about how to improve a situation. Archangel Michael advises you to fully commit to your desired outcome. If you're tentative or unsure if you're deserving or worthy enough, then the final result will be unsatisfactory. However, by making a commitment, you'll help spark movement in your life. So possible meanings of this card, um, remember all of them may not apply, so take the ones that do. Commit to your current relationship to create more intimacy and satisfaction. Allow yourself to fully enjoy each moment. Completely immerse yourself in an exciting project. If you're a musician or an artist, become deeply mindful of every note played on each stroke of your paintbrush. Be confident as you speak and write. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart for every experience. Okay, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, 
um, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And if you're interested in the bracelets, my information's in the description box. And I'm going to move on to the third stack, which is the Feminine Angel. Okay, so uh, first two cards out from the Romance Angels. First one is Heart to Heart Conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? So I feel here, you know, there may be um, some conversations coming up with you and this person. Like I said, I don't feel that for everyone in this reading, um, you know, this is the end of the, um, the relationship or connection. I feel, you know, for a small percentage of you, I feel here that there um, is still... Um, hope for you to reconcile and work things out okay um, but for this reading I feel a lot of you are in a place um, where you're feeling really really down about this so I do feel here there will be some upcoming conversations uh, next card is your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations keep an open mind okay so I feel here, um, you know, this person, um, you know, normally this is about just keeping an open mind to the situation or keeping an open mind when you first meet somebody um, and they may not seem like your type. But I'm feeling here what this message that's coming through, the messages that I'm getting is I feel here that this is about um, keeping an open mind that if this situation doesn't work, okay, there is an, another soulmate coming in for you, okay? And you may not think that that soulmate, uh, right now you may be so focused on this person, like I said with the Four of Cups here, you may be so focused on this person, you may think that there's nobody else out there. But I feel your, your angels are saying, yes, there is, okay? Okay. So keep an open mind that if this situation doesn't work out, that there is somebody out there for you. The next two cards that came out um, is take action. Okay. Um, I feel here, uh, for a lot of you, I feel like there's going to be some decisions you're going to need to make regarding this situation. And I feel like your angels are saying, for me, uh, the message I'm getting for a lot of you is this is, telling you to move forward just keep moving forward if this person um, is not ready I feel like your angels are saying keep moving forward because like I said with the wheel of fortune and the world card I feel like you're going to feel better okay doesn't mean that that person can't catch up to you um, but you can still keep moving forward and focusing on you and doing things that make you happy and the next card that came out is in the near future Okay, so I feel here this is an indication that things are going to change in the near future. Okay, next card is from the Lover's Oracle, and it says, Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And yes, so, so on point there. Okay. Do this for you. Make the decisions on you, what makes you feel good, okay? Like I said, you can move forward. And if this person really wants to make it work, they're going to catch up to you, okay? The next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. And the message that came um, out for you is called Ask Archangel Michael. To help you with this situation. The situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. This card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving you inner peace, new ideas, and insights. Michael will help you in ingenious and unexpected ways, so be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. So possible meanings to this card, know that you're powerful, you're not a victim, release any blame for yourself or others, focus upon solutions, not problems, allow other people to help you, keep an open mind to alternative solutions. 
And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with this situation. Please help me be filled with faith, with faith and peace at all times. All right. Very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And if you're interested in ordering um, any of these two bracelets, um, again, my email is in the description box. Um, you can go ahead and send me an email. All right. I have, hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.